By the way, the U.S. has gotten so bad that historic wave of Mexican immigration at a standstill report says uh, illegals are leaving at a record rate and the increase has slowed to now a standstill. Well, that's because the U.S. is in a depression. That's because the U.S. is falling apart. That's because the cheap labor lowered Mexican standard of living in Mexico and lowered the U.S. until the U.S. is a burnout husk and what's left of our tax money is paid to General Motors to move to China to build the vaults and Cadillacs there and to Brazil and to Mexico and to Eastern Europe. You paid 20 plus billion of the bailout to move the factories. Let me say that again. And now the factories are opening. And, and, and what's the new scholarship? A Homeland Security official. What's the new job? Prison guard. That's the new economy. There's a story that's up at DrudgeReport.com, again from the Daily Mail, um, that you know, points out that drones launched by Texas State University, FBI, Gaston Police Department, Georgia Tech Research Institute, Kansas State, U.S. Air Force, Arlington Police Department, U.S. Army, DOD, DHS, Department of Homeland Security, against the American people. And we have a map of that we can put up on screen if you're watching at prisonplanet.tv. But everybody is freaking out about this, and you should. But what's exempt is actual NSA drones. And what's exempt is the solar-powered blimps that are up in the edge of the atmosphere at over 100,000 feet that the news media, ABC News and others, knows not to tell you it's a blimp. Larry King and ABC, I've played the clips here, just look it up. ABC you know, covers UFO over Salt Lake. It's a blimp, a giant blimp, roughly two times the size of the uh, Goodyear blimp. And it has propellers on it and engines and solar arrays on the side. And they say that they believe it's aliens and... Uh, Larry King said it was, uh, you know, aliens over Dallas, and it was a blimp. Because you can't say it's a giant secret government blimp. So that'd be like if you saw a biplane fly by with the Red Baron on the side, uh, uh, the Iron Cross, and it had surveillance cameras. The news would say it's an alien from planet Gobblesnap with a reptoid flying it because you couldn't have surveillance. That doesn't exist in the free country. So it's E.T., CNN, ABC, other newscasts as well, but I've played the, both those here, where they go, what is it? Giant cigar-shaped craft. It's surveillance drones. I even went and looked up where the contracts were paid in the late 90s and then in the early 2000s, and when they launched some, it was actually on MSNBC. That it was a blimp, but still, when I have national media call me, they say, you believe in these blimps. And I'm like, yeah, let me show you. And they're like, no, we're not going to look. We just want to ask you, you believe they exist. And I've had national media here repeatedly, and I go, but I want to show you the blimp. And they go, no, it's your opinion. Why do you believe in these blimps? Why do you believe the bad men are coming? Remember Jesse Ventura when he went to that congressman with the Emergency Centers Establishment Act, with all the FEMA camps and the funding? And he goes, I'd like to know about this bill. And he goes, the bill where the green aliens come out of the big machines and, and eat me? Ventura goes, no, the bill. And he goes, <laughs> you mean with the one with the aliens? And Ventura looks at him and he says, no, here's the bill. Here, here's the bill number. And he goes, I do remember that bill. And then it was so embarrassing for him when the hoax was shown, Homeland Security threatened Time Warner and they removed that show and erased it off your DVRs. Again, this is the globalist operation. There's no world government, but you're announcing it in hundreds of papers. Still isn't there. And the American Psychological Association has put out a new psychological designation last year where if you believe in a world government, you're mentally ill. Doesn't matter if you're reading it out of The Economist and out of Time Magazine, Newsweek, all of them announcing bankers are going to run everything. You'll pay your carbon taxes to them. Global government, global banker. It's still, it doesn't exist. Okay. Mm. Do you mean, Mr. Vin Mr. Governor, the aliens that come out of machines and eat me? And, and he's like, no, I'm talking about this bill. And he goes, doesn't exist. I control reality. Mm. Hey, here's the blimps. Here's the funding for them. Doesn't exist. 
hey, hey, here, here's the reports that uh, all these major vaccines have cancer viruses in them. And here's the numbers of the massive increase in cancer. No, the government's nice. <laughs> hey, the TSA is violating laws and aren't even bonded police sticking their hands down your pants. You can't do that. The body scanners give you cancer. No, they don't. They're good for you. John Hopkins says, really, the head of John Hopkins says their report says the opposite. You're lying. We don't grope. There's no radiation. You're lying. We don't strip search old women. You're lying. No, we're not extremist. DHS uses wartime mega camera to watch border. There's one of the blimps. Yeah, usually when they do admit the blimps and stuff, that's a little one. It's oh, it's just for the border. That's just a World War I style uh, hydrogen or helium system that they use with cameras today. They used to put spotters up in them to, uh, for artillery direction. That's an artillery direction blimp that they've uh, rigged uh, for the... Uh, when they you know, put on these little shows for the border. So, my point is, everybody's freaking out about the drones. But what about the blimps and the satellites? I mean, rockets are going off every week with new satellites, some of them giant payloads. Some of these spy satellites are so big, they've got to use Russian boosters to get them into orbit. And the, you know, they're the size of two or three school buses up there. Uh, uh, amateur astronomers have used their telescopes and even amateur radio telescopes. There's big platforms up in space, things that make the... See, see they've gotten rid of the space shuttle program because it's a 1930s idea of Werner von Braun, the Nazi, who then became one of the heads of NASA, who was the head of development, launched in the early 80s, 30-something years ago. That's just the public space program. And now that you're not into it anymore, they're like, we don't have a space program, go to sleep. The real space program, 80 plus percent of it, has always been a clandestine program and belongs to the bankers with our money. And so that's all that's happening now. Since you're not into the fake space program and the $300 toilet seats and $700 hammers that you, is really being used for the black site government, since you don't even care about it anymore, they're just like, hey, Congress, we're not going to tell you what's at the NSA base. We're not going to tell you what's in the PDD-51. And we're not going to tell the public either. So sit down and shut up, and we're going to shoot your kids up, even if you say no. Is that clear? You will take the shot. You will die of cancer. <laughs> and the illegals are, like, leaving in many cases, because America is collapsing. But they lie to us and say, oh, America is wonderful. The economy has turned around. Yeah, 20 plus billion to ship General Motors to China and Brazil and Mexico and three different Eastern European countries. Man, it's great, isn't it? Everything's fine. There's nothing wrong with that picture. We just don't grasp how it's a great idea. The globalists have, they openly said they wanted to wreck our economy and post-industrial and teach us their enemy by, by, by destroying our economy and then inducting us into socialism. Just like France is going into deeper socialism right now. When socialism did to France what's happened to it, it's the same thing. Oh, that cyanide's making you sick? Here, let's shovel some more in your mouth. When we come back, whites all over the country are having their heads knocked in, and the media won't even say it's black people doing it when it is. The race war is on. Devil Whitey is getting what he deserves. We've got to wake up. We've got to get out of our trance and realize just how crazy this tyranny has gotten. You know something? The media... MSNBC especially, NBC, editing the George Zimmerman tape to make it sound like he hated black people, uh, hyping all this up, Jesse Jackson, all these people. They've got a job to get the American people fighting with each other instead of fighting with the globalists, instead of waking up to what's happening. This is a false flag. And I see articles every day now where white people at parks are having their head beat in and there'll be a footnote in the article or at fairs or on their front porches 
There'll be little footnotes that, well, yes, witnesses said it was a group of 20 or 30 black people doing it to a white person who begged and pleaded. And in some cases, the people are dying later. And the police will not even say the race in their report. That is mind control. Again, because the system wants white guilt, not to try to empower and build up black people. Well, they want to keep them right where they are on the government reservation, the government plantation. But so they can say, you're guilty white people. Now support socialism and gun bans. Support world government. You're bad, pay carbon taxes. That's what all this guilt's about. This is a guilt system, making you guilty so you'll do what the New World Order wants. Look at this article right here. This is from WKRG News. Man beaten by mob in critical condition. Mobile police need your help to catch a mob that beat Matthew Owens so badly. Funny, when you're looking for a mob, they won't even say the race. Listen, so badly. I mean, I guess... I guess if it's a white guy, you can't say it either. Like, well, what color are the suspects? We cannot say. Just we're looking for some people. <laughs> it actually gets into that in the article. Mobile police need your help to catch a mob that beat Matthew Owens so badly that he's in critical condition. Well, he's white. He deserves to die. What the Black Panthers say? Time to burn down America. Time to start killing some crackers. It turned out the Justice Department was in those protests leading them. The Justice Department that ships guns into Mexico to kill 2,000 plus Mexicans, hundreds of Americans, and six police officers, bare minimum, three of them Border Patrol agents. You mean they want to start a race war so they can pose and have Obama come out and say, no, we all need to be friends here. Even though Trayvon looks like my son. You mean those 12-year-old photos the media shows? Not the ones with him being a big man with a gold grill and all the rest of it. And then the black neighbor witness of Zimmerman's head bouncing up and down off the ground that Martin came over to him. Or the edited tape. I mean, regardless of who's at fault here. I see somebody walking around in the neighborhood. I'm not going to come out of my house and, and start following them. I think that was stupid. But the point is, why is the media hyping this? Because they want a race war. Because this is an enemy media. <clears throat> MSNBC definitely is. I mean, you talk about anti-freedom, talk about manipulative, talk about trying to have a globalist spring in America, race war spring. And out of the chaos poses the saviors. According to police, Owens fussed at some kids playing basketball in the middle of Del Mar Drive about 8.30 Saturday night. They say the kids left and a group of adults returned, armed with everything but the kitchen sink. Police tell News 5 the suspects used chairs, pipes, and paint cans to beat Owens. Must not be very tough. I mean, one man can kill somebody pretty easy. Of course, I guess he almost did kill him, but wow, how pathetic. You know, crowds of people can never, I've noticed, hurt somebody bad. It's one-on-one -on -one where the real fighting gets done. Owens' sister, Ashley Parker, saw the attack. Can't listen to her. She's a white devil, though. It was the scariest thing I have ever witnessed, Parker says, that 20 people, all African-American, attacked her brother on the front porch of his home using brass knuckles. That's why the guy should have had a gun in there. Come to my door with brass knuckles. <laughs> I don't care what color you are. You're going home in a body bag. Parker says 20. I bet this guy's a liberal. It's always liberals that get beat up. I mean, somebody comes in here, and I got a gun right here. I mean, it's like, goodbye. You're leaving the planet. <laughs> Attack. See, watch what happens. Parker says 20 people, all African-American, attacked her brother on the front porch of his home using brass knuckles, paint cans, and anything they could get their hands on. Police will only say multiple people are involved. <laughs> of course, you don't. The police are like, help us find out who did it. Oh, well, what color are the suspects? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, well, are they Oriental, uh, Asian, uh, Hispanic, uh, Anuit, uh, Northern European, Jewish, Muslim, uh, Arabic, uh, Irish, uh, we just can't say. Uh, just okay, but there's some people, and we can't say. We can't say. We'll be right back. Everything we said came true. Everything we've done has been right. Well, speaking of MSNBC, now that they think they've demonized Ron Paul and they think that he won't win the Republican nomination, they're trying to gain credibility by reporting what is a fact. Ron Paul did, in fact, win Iowa and Minnesota after recounts. 
That was a dead giveaway whenever Carl Rove went on Fox and said, some, some trucks with the ballots didn't get delivered. So uh, we, we met behind closed doors with the top officials, and we decided uh, that it would be Mitt Romney and then Santorum and then Paul. I mean, that's called hiding it in plain view. Uh, we decided to drop by your house and beat your head in with a baseball bat. So he, he really won Maine. That's Even the New York Times admits that. I mean, he, he won Maine. But the Republican officials say we're not giving it to you. Uh, he won Iowa, he won Minnesota, and see, that was all early on. He would have gained the momentum. He was the front runner, and they kept saying, he can't win, he can't win, no one wants him. Forget he's winning the straw polls and scientific polls. He's going to lose, he's going to lose, he's going to lose. He can't win. And then when he started winning, they had to steal those. Then it began. Well, I guess he isn't going to win. Well, that's funny. All I see is Ron Paul stickers. He's got 10,000 or more people at all his rallies. And uh, Mitt Romney can't even get 500, and Newt Gingrich can't even get 50 people, and Santorum can only get about 100. Well, I, wow, it's just weird. And he's got, he gets all the military donations, 70 plus percent, and you know, you really have thought, but I guess. And then as they stole all the states, Nevada, he clearly won, but we can't 100 percent prove that. We know, and now they admit it. He won Iowa, he won Maine, he won Minnesota. It's now admit it, but it's like back of the paper. Ah, yeah. She up front. They didn't want you to know he wasn't just a contender. He was your president. He would have gotten the nomination. He would have defeated Obama. They probably would have put a bullet in him. And he was ready for that. He said he's ready to go all the way. But by going through the process, showing the cheating, showing the manipulation, we show the emperor is butt naked. He's not wearing a fine coat. And he educates people on the Federal Reserve. And we win. And he'll be at UT this Thursday. I bet there's 10,000 people out there. I know I'll have news crews out there. And, you know, his son was able to win because he won by fit. All the polls showed 15, 17 points or so. Bill Clinton went and campaigned against him. His numbers went up. They tried to block him out of uh, early debates. You know, the Republicans went after him and the, the Democrats went after him. But Kentucky had such a landslide that they let Rand Paul in, that there's still some places where it can happen. You know, where Ron Paul's won congressional seat before by over 80 percent. Polls are showing he's getting 80 plus percent. He wins by 61. You see, they can only steal him right now when it's five, 10 points past that. And I've had top election fraud experts on from every angle. The Collier brothers before they died, uh, the Collier brothers, uh, da uh, well, one of the Collier brothers' daughter, all the investigators, uh, Bev Harris, on and on and on. I went and worked at elections in state elections, what, in 94, 96, 2000. I was there. I saw Pat Buchanan winning Travis County. He got, I think it was like 3 4%, I forget, on the news at the end of the night. He won Arizona. That fraud came out. Pat Buchanan was who people wanted to run against Bill Clinton. And the system's like, no, we're going to run a corpse. We're going to run Bob Dole, and he's going to take a fall. I mean, it would be like putting a 10-year-old child in the ring with Mike Tyson. And they did it. It was a Don King fight. It was totally rigged. And you know what? Don King ran enough rigged fights. People don't watch him anymore. Pay-per-view's a joke. A new sport came along that was real and not rigged. And I'll tell you, UFC is not rigged at all. And it's wildly popular like, like boxing used to be. Because there's five or six different groups competing. And competition with the different leagues brings reality. Monopolies bring stagnation. So, hey, Don King, you know, arrested for murder, all this stuff, gangsterism. People finally figured out these are staged fights. They weren't back during the Muhammad Ali days. But later, they became rigged because they wanted to make even more on the rigged gambling than they were making on the pay-per-view. So you killed the golden goose. Globalism is the killing of the golden goose. Mafia, insider cronyism is the death of everything good. And so we've got the clip. It's up at Infowars.com where uh, Rachel Maddow, you know, ad admits... Mr. Maddow admits that Ron, I mean, uh, Miss Maddow or Mrs. Maddow, whatever it is, or the guy from Saturday Night Live, uh, Pat, 
The point is that they're now admitting it after they've done it. Oh, look, it was rigged. Like you're not part of the rigging and the editing of tapes to make Zimmerman sound racist. I mean, you guys are caught, okay? Nobody's coming to your fights anymore. Nobody's watching you anymore. You're a shadow of your former self, and soon you'll be a memory of a shadow. You're gone. So try to shut the web down. Try to intimidate people. Blow up some more federal buildings and blame it on us. It isn't going to help you, New World Order. It is, and you know that. That's why Brzezinski's new book, he elaborates on what he said two years ago. He said the people are awake, they're aware of the elite, and there's a quote in there. You can pull it up because it's actually on the uh, Amazon synopsis. To paraphrase it, and this is almost exact, he said, 30 years ago, it was cheaper to just spend a million dollars convincing people to go along with your program. Now it's cheaper just to pay a million dollars to kill a million people. Guys, pull up the exact quote because I butchered that. I mean, I'm trying to get it exactly right. The point is he said it's cheaper just to kill people now. So now they're like, yeah, we've been listening to you. Yeah, we're jacking the food and water. Yeah, we're building secret sites to arrest you. Yes, yes, we're federalizing everything. You better be scared. Okay. Oh, you like the little friendly mask? You know, you, know, you smell stench? You know, let me take the little dolly mask off. And they pull it off and it's a skull with worms coming out and just rotten meat like a stinking dead buzzard. And they're like, you smell something? Oh, you don't trust me? You don't think I'm wearing this nice little dolly mask? Let me take that off for you. <laughs> You're like, yeah, you smelled something. How is it looking at it? How you like it? You know, I was uh, getting into the fact that the TSA is now screaming and grabbing four-year-olds who hug their grandma. I come up to the security line. And grandma's seeing you off and you turn back. It's any excuse to jump on somebody. Any excuse to teach you you're a slave. Their ads they put out say we want imperious employees. That means imperial, arrogant, hateful, laughing. And it's coming out that at LAX and other airports, airports in, in New York where the wealthy fly out, the stalkers are getting jobs and they just have celebrations with celebrities. I've seen it. Well, I've been celebrated on and they're just like, I've got rights. I'm going to grope you now. And they walk right up to those movie stars and supermodels and they just grab them. And, 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 and TMZ and Yahoo and all of them sit there and take the photos. And you just see them smiling and laughing. And you're Miss USA. I'm going in your pants. <laughs> I mean, again, just the over the topness of this. And here it is. Weekly Standard, it's also in the National Journal. Homeland Security and State Department officials have now announced the war on terror is over. That's why they are working with Al-Qaeda. They're like, yeah, okay, we use Al-Qaeda now in Syria to blow up police stations and stuff. And we use them to take over Libya and we kill 40,000. We line the blacks up and shoot them. But hey, Trayvon Martin, we really care about him. <laughs> We care about black people a lot right now. Oh, and Obama said they're going to invade uh, uh, Uganda now because of Cohen 2012. Told you that was State Department propaganda. And it's come out they funded it. That's okay if the head of it runs around naked on power trips. I mean, you know. We've had TSA workers in Maryland and in L.A. go crazy, get naked, and announce they're God and start grabbing people. Because you're like, but that's crazy. That's what a narcissist does. These are people so brutish, so mindless, so scum-filled that they strip down naked and begin screaming their God. And that's what the head of Coney did. Uh, that's what they all do. And Mike Adams, of course, has put out a story. I was going to call Paul Watson this morning, but he didn't answer. He works out of England and say, hey, here's my angle here. The Veritas, the truth, delivering the goods, cutting through the matrix right down to the core. But notice Mike Adams, he's in the truth wavelength, so he's written an article. It's at Infowars.com right now. We'll put that headline back up there for PrisonPlanet.tv viewers. The war on terror is over, and he links to all these articles. The war on terror is over. Obama administration announces war on terror is over. But 
the war on you and on your wife's genitals has just begun. And on your son's genitals, the pedophile training has just begun. Hey, you want 20 bucks an hour to be on a power trip and, and put your hands on people? Only the most shuddered, brutish, unhappy, pathetic people. It runs the gamut. Power trips, control freaks, perverts, pedophiles. And it's whoever they want. They sit there and hit a button in the scanner. I've seen them do it. They admit they do it. <clears throat> or on the uh, x-ray system when they've got those going and they see a good-looking woman, I'm like, watch this every time I fly. I go, you look at her, she's gorgeous, watch this. I go, she's gonna get, they're going to put her in the scanner to get a naked image, and then they're going to say it didn't work right. And, and we're sitting there getting coffee last time. I'm like, okay, watch. Okay, she did the scan. Okay, they're going to send a manager perv up, watch this. Manager perv comes up, directs her over, makes her wait, and they're all excited. <laughs> and, and, the woman's not, and the woman's going, oh my God, this is, this is a perv. Just like that big uh, Israeli supermodel said, she said the woman was clearly a lesbian and was getting off on it. Just like Miss USA said, the man was getting off on it. I mean, you know. It's not just, it's like the doctor. Who went to the doctor? They wanted to check for hernias or whatever. And, you know, they go up under to check and have you cough. I mean, you would know. I mean, a doctor is just like a robot, does it. Still, it's weird. But you know when somebody's like, <sighs> and they're all slob and they stink and they're looking at you going, this is my right. I'm about to have my right on you. <laughs> and you're just like, is this really happening? It reminds me when I was in juvenile. And of course, I, you know, Monday got out, went to court, and got, got released because they're like, we're going to incarcerate your son for this, and you need to sign him over to adjudication. But Ed's like, good, let's do the trial. We have witnesses. He was physically attacked before fighting back and putting the person in the hospital. Because, you know, you put somebody in a coma, you go to jail because they got to figure out what's going on. And I'm sitting there, and I'm in there three days. I'm going to jail Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and the perv guy. I'm like, hey, it's like Sunday. I go, I'm going to court tomorrow. Can I please? Uh, can I please? I'm talking to the, you know the bars, those plastic little holes in it. And, and the point is, and and the guy's like, yeah, I'll give you a shower. Come on. I was like, well, thank you. So I just noticed, sir, people got showers yesterday. I'd like one. And he goes in there. And he says, take your clothes off. We're gonna have some fun. And I said, you know, a, I'm gonna fight you. And if anything happens, you're gonna get in trouble. Basically, I said, you're going to end up, well, the point is, and he said, fine, then no shower for you. And it was a, it was a TSA person. I've already experienced somebody, oh, you're, you're 14 years old. I got you in the shower. I mean, now you get there and it's like, I cannot fly because I can't go and say, here are my children. Here, have them. And then the men go, get over here, little girl, little boy. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. This is America. This is who we are. And now the TSA is training the police, as I told you they would do. Because they said they would. They now go to the proms and say, we say it's okay. If we're here, we wave a magic wand. In fact, a listener was joking and mailed me a magic wand. Uh, the ladies and customer service have. Well, you guys go get me the magic wand, please. Just just run back and get it. Just say magic wand. Because if people seen the joke I do with our, you know, wave the imaginary piece of paper as it's a magic wand. And, and the TSA now shows up and says, yeah, on Houston buses, Dallas buses, just around where I live, uh, here in Texas, uh, we're here, so we're here, you're now allowed to grope and search bags without warrants because they waved the magic Tinkerbell wand. And now at theme parks and places, they're starting the gropes. And, you know, I got talked into going through TSA one time with my children and it did not go well. So now my wife understands why we can't travel. But see, the, the feds are like, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. You're, there's going to be checkpoints and we're going to go in your pants. Thank you. A listener mailed me this. Man, bear, pig, Al Gore's magic wand. Wave it a couple of times and you save the earth from CO2. Well, yeah, they're announcing Obama actually made sea levels uh, start dropping. He said he would do that, and it happened. So no, but, but, but here it is. It's like there's laws against people touching your genitals on the outside of the inside, and these aren't even sworn bonded law enforcement officers, peace officers under law. Oh, the feds just say, magic wand. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, Congress is supposed to authorize war, but Obama says he has the U.N. doing it. Totally illegal. Doesn't matter. Magic tyranny wand. Uh, uh. Oh, uh, they've got spy satellites illegally watching us and CIA domestically illegally on the streets now. 
and they admit they're spying on us through appliances without warrants, and it's totally illegal. But General Petraeus, the head of the CIA, just says, hey, the Fourth Amendment ain't what it used to be. He actually said that. Uh -huh, magic wand, America's gone. America's gone. Just like magic wand. Oh, we're going to raise your property taxes, which we didn't have till 60 years ago, which turns your property into a rental. You rent from the government. Ah, uh, bye-bye. Cancer rates up 10,000 plus percent in children. Magic wand. Take your shots. Your corn syrup full of mercury. Showed you the Washington Post. Oh, melamine's killing kids. It's in the baby formula. Wave a magic wand. FDA said last year, it's safe. Oh, the China is executing their people that got caught doing it, baby formula. Here they just go, uh-uh. Oh, DU's killing the troops. The government wouldn't allow the military to use it until 1991 because it's so deadly in all their studies from the 50s. And they said it would kill the troops, soft kill. Hey, 1990, 91 comes around. Hey, watch this. Ah, use it. Uh -huh. Oh, it ignites going down the barrel and gives you a deadly dose. How are you going to like that kidney failure? How are you going to like that lung cancer? How are you going to like sterility, massive uh, birth defects? Hey, it's all right, because watch this. Oh, oh, magic wand for radio listeners. I have a little, little Tinkerbell wand here. And you just like, hey, watch this. Hey, Bill Gates openly says he wants eugenics and to have uh, death panels kill grandma. But he's a superhero and paid for... Product placement, propaganda placement, they call it behavior placement. Magic wand, he's a nice guy. Uh, oh, hey, Warren Buffett's the biggest recipient of your tax money and banker bailout. And, and you know, supports paying with tax money to ship your jobs overseas. That's okay, because he has an ice cream cone. See, that's his magic wand. I'm a non-threatening old man. Oh, oh. Black uniforms, face scanning cameras, cashless society, dollar devaluation. Hey, there's a depression. So bad the illegals are leaving? Hey, don't worry. Watch this. Oh! Ho oh, oh. ho! You just wave a magic trendy wand. Sodium fluoride giving you cancer? No problem. Ah. Ah. One of my friends, who I know is listening right now, uh, just IM'd me or texted me a photo he just took on Guadalupe Street in downtown Austin of a fellow with a tune into 90.1, tune into Alex Jones. Uh, radio sign. That's the type of action people are taking against this. And it's a domino effect. As more people do it, there's going to be a cascading effect against tyranny. Speaking of cascading, I'm going to cover this later after we take calls for the entire next hour. Five Bill Gates top growth picks, McDonald's, Walmart, Comcast. Now, McDonald's has board members on it from Monsanto and buys GMO. And Bill Gates is also on the board of Monsanto and heavily invested. Same thing with Walmart, all these guys. And he calls his holding group Cascade. They know what they're doing. And this guy is a flaming eugenicist. So Aaron Dykes has got a blurb out on that. He's also got a big report out about uh, AIDS virus uh, or the shell of the AIDS virus in biological, pharmacological crop corn. Because uh, Aaron heard me talk about that from eight, nine years ago yesterday. He went and dug it up and has an article uh, out at Infowars.com uh, on that right now. It's in my stack. I'll be covering that later. <sighs> there is so much I haven't even gotten to yet. But just getting back to this announcement, it's at Infowars.com. The war on terror is over. But the TSA, because, you know, Al-Qaeda is now good, we're told. You know, they've, they've been given Libya. They're going to be given Syria. Uh, they've been given pretty much control over uh, other areas like Egypt. And it's like, oh, no, they're good. The new terrorist, as they told us last year, is white Al-Qaeda, is domestic, conservative, libertarian, returning veterans. And I told you four years ago that would be the new enemy, and they would segue to that. And now they've put out all these Homeland Security videos. Some of them are 30 minutes long. They're, they're little mini documentaries. And every terrorist is a white person, and every person reporting them is a, quote, minority. And again, they've already taught you that all the brown people are terrorists. Now we're going to learn the white people are the terrorists. So we can all report each other, and they can edit tapes of people and try to get race wars going. While we're all attacked, all being fed GMO, all being chemtrailed, all having our future destroyed, all having our jobs shipped overseas... Close to 50, what is it, 49 million people now on food stamps. Depression by every indicator. And we're going to have the media go, we're so upset about Trayvon Martin. 
if Zimmerman was a racist and shot him or whatever, and the police didn't have the right evidence, they couldn't do anything. Why have a race war? When there's blacks killing blacks every day, but oh, people don't care about that. By the way, there are these witnesses. He comes over to his car, starts beating him up, bloody head. Everything Zimmerman said has been true. I'm not saying Zimmerman wasn't a little, you know, he wanted to be a cop. He couldn't become a cop, so he just became kind of a security guard, overzealous, calling 911 40-something times. And I've read the 911 transcripts. There's a white guy. He looks uh, suspicious. He looks like he has a Slim Jim. There's a Hispanic guy. There's a white guy. There's a black guy. But again, they want us at each other's throats.